In a division problem, the dividend tells us how much we have. The divisor tells us how we want to group or share it. But what happens in a division problem is zero is the divisor. Let's start with six items. We want to put them into zero groups. How many items are going to be in each group if we have zero groups? This means we are solving six divided by zero. Six is my dividend, zero is our divisor. So I want to put these six items into zero groups. Well, if I have zero groups, it means I don't have any groups. So I can't move my items into groups if I don't actually have any groups. Well, what happens if we change our dividend to a larger number? What happens if I try to do 12 divided by zero? We have more in our dividend, but our divisor is still putting them into zero groups. So I still don't have any actual groups to move my items to. Anytime I try to divide by zero, the result is impossible. It's going to come out to be an empty or null set because I don't actually have any groups to move my items to. Anytime we try to divide by zero, we're going to run into this problem. When zero is our divisor, the result is an empty set or a null set. Calculators will often show this as an error in the display when you try to do it. It isn't that you made a typo, the problem is it's not mathematically possible to do this.